Hello guys and welcome back to video number three on how to edit and customize your Keynote editable planner. Today I will show you how to delete the pages that you no longer want in the planner. I will also show you how you can replace the text on your tabs with icons that come already included in this app Keynote. And lastly, I will show you how you can add the yearly calendar that you get free access to when you purchase this planner and how you can add it to a page in your planner. Okay, so I have opened my editable planner in Keynote. This is the exact same file that we were editing in my last video. And there we created this new page design where we changed all of the colors and we also deleted some tabs that used to be up here and at the bottom right as well. And today I will teach you how to remove those pages that these tabs used to link to. So the first thing we want to do is locate where those pages that were tabbed here are so I can go and delete them. And the easiest way to do that is I'm gonna click on my play button here so that I can activate my links and using my finger, I will first go to the month of December. I'm gonna go to the last week of December. So tap on this dot on the right. And if I go down here, you'll see that I have a tab selected because this used to be a tab in my planner design, but now it's gone. So I can just go ahead and delete the whole page so I'm just gonna show you, you have this like ghost page, this one as well, this one, this one, and the last one. So it's five pages that we no longer need. So you can just go on each of those pages, tap on it again, click on delete. There's no warnings, no nothing because those pages are no longer linked to anything. So I delete them safely. When you try to delete a page that is linked, it should give you a warning sign telling you that some other buttons or links in the planner are bringing you back to this page. So if, I, if you remove the page, then those links will be broken. So if you don't get a notification, usually that means that you're fine. However, still double and triple check that the page that you are deleting is the one that indeed you don't need anymore. Now, obviously I do advise you to keep a unmodified version of this planner somewhere safe so that you can come back to it and start over or maybe just copy, for example, the tabs that you ended up needing. So you can just copy them from that document and bring them onto this one, etc. Now I have to delete the pages that were on this side. So they'll be after workout and I can just uh, go with my finger here. As you can see, the selected tabs light up. So I have my last one, which is workout. And then I will just have the selected tab, but the original tab is gone. So I know I can delete that page. So just tap on it and then delete. And the following ghost pages I'm going to delete as well. There we go. So I don't have any extra pages in my planner, only the ones that are linked. Okay, so the following thing I want to show you how to do today is how to change this text for icons that you already have included in this app Keynote. So for that, I need to go to my masters because if you recall, that is where we can edit the planner design. So I'm gonna tap on any page to click on edit master slide and this will open my actual editable page. And what I'll do, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. And my first step here is finance. So I'm just gonna go and delete the text there. So select this tab, double tap, and then just delete the text. Then go to my plus sign and in my shapes menu here, you can just either search for what you're looking for or you can just scroll and see all of the options available. So here in symbols, you have like these coins stacked. I can use that to represent finance. So I will just make this smaller and remember this is when the Apple Pencil is helpful and I taught you how to deactivate the drawing function in my previous video. So you just have to make it tiny so it fits on the tab and I like to make the color white. So go to the brush here and where it says style fill, you tap there and you select white. Okay, so now instead of having my text, I have an icon and i can click on play just to see how it's looking here is my icon i'm gonna zoom out to get out of there and for classes i'm going to first double tap on my text to delete it and i'm going to add maybe a book so i'm gonna tap on my search bar here and just type in book and you have all these options i like the first one so make your icon tiny tiny and then just place it on the tab make it white it has to be even smaller and just center it. 
Then I can also change my meals tab and for that I'm just gonna go to my shapes and this time I'm gonna look for something that is food related. So you have all these options. I guess I can pick an apple, make it tiny tiny, bring it to your tabs. I'll try to align it better and turn it white. School can also be replaced with maybe there's a school icon here. And yeah, in fact, there is this backpack, so I'll use this one and change the color to white and align it. And work out, delete, add a shape and then look for something like this. And actually this one I can rotate 90 degrees so it fits better. Put it over here and then I will just turn it white. I select the tabs, then I'm going to group them for now. And I'm actually going to cut them because I want them out of the way so that I can now select these shapes and now without the tabs, as you can see, I managed to do it. So before grouping, I want to align them. So go to your brush, arrange, and then click on this second icon to align them in the middle. And you can also spread them out vertically. Okay, and then let's go to group. Okay, so now I have those shapes in a single group. And then I can just go and click on my screen to click on paste. And then I can bring in my icons on top. There we go. Now that this is the page format that I want, what I can do is click on the gray area at the top here to click on select all, copy, go to the following page, click on select all again, tap on my spiral, tap on my spread. I do want to keep my monthly spread intact. So click on delete and you deleted everything but your monthly spread. Then tap again anywhere to click on paste, go to your brush, send everything to the bag. And then you have the new design with the spread that you already had and go do the same on the following page. So tap on my spiral, to deselect my spread, delete, paste, and then send everything to the back. Okay, awesome. Now what I'll do is I'll go and show you about the yearly calendar. And what I'll do, I just scrolled all the way up. So I have my cover page in the planner and then I want my yearly calendar to be the next page right after that. So this design that is here, I mean, if you want to keep it, what you can do is duplicate the slide. So just click on duplicate and then you have your cover page, one page with this design and a second page with the same design. So I advise you to do that if you want to keep this page or if you're not sure if you want to keep it or not. And then I'm going to go to the first page and I will delete the design because I want to add my calendar page here. And again, you can download this calendar for free. When you purchase this, you will get a code and a link on where to get it. But I have already downloaded it and saved it to my Photos app. So I have it here. And the cool thing is that you can get any of the designs. So this is transparent background. That's why you can't see it when I select the image. But you have different options for the calendar and I think the best one is the one labeled for the pastel planner because it's this horizontal one and you'll see in a little bit that one works well but again you can play around with the designs and choose which one works best for the planner that you are creating. So I'm gonna bring my photos app here in split screen view with Keynote so that I can just drag the calendar I want from my miniatures onto the page. I can close my photos for now. And then you can just adjust it. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll first adjust my left side. So make it as big as possible without cropping anything out. I mean, if you want to maximize the use of space. And then what I'll do is I'll just tap on the calendar to click on copy. I'll double tap on it. And what this does is I can crop the image so that I only have one side at once. It'll make sense in a second. Click on done. Now I only have the first part of the calendar, but if I tap on my page, click on paste, I place this here and then I double tap on this new copy. I can also crop it. So now I have the right side of my calendar and then I can just align them. Okay, and then select them both and I will group them and you can make them a little bit bigger. And as you can see, you got rid of the space in the middle. So this is something that you can do. Let's take a look at how our planner is looking. So I'm gonna go to my first page, click on play. And if I use my finger, I will be able to start navigating the pages of my planner. 
and so here I have my calendar page and I also kept the original first page design and then I keep going and I get to January you can also of course navigate your tabs by tapping on here I have my brand new sections here with the icons whoops got out click on play again so you can go to all these sections where you have added your brand new icons so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned something new and as you can see your planner can be done and customized to exactly how you want it to look as always if you have any questions drop them below and i'll get back to you as quick as i can i'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download this template in case you're interested and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when the new video is out Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.